It's only water, flour, oats and salt. Cheers, Dave. Thanks, mate. Thank you very much. But they queue round the block at the hole in the wall in Hanley. Thank you very much. But not for much longer. The last traditional oat cake shop in Hanley closes this weekend. Yes, we're closing Sunday. Our last day is Sunday, um, due to compulsory purchase by the council. Right. Um, we've uh, had the property obviously taken off us uh, to redevelop the area. New housing, say the council, to replace the 100-year-old terraces. Even terraces with tradition, where oat cakes have been sold from the front window for years. The face of Hanley is changing. Terraced houses used to be there, they've gone. There used to be some on the corner there, they've gone. Virtually all the industry has gone. And now in the name of regeneration, the hole in the wall has got to go too. But many believe that with it, will go part of Hanley's heritage. This was the back kitchen. This was the kitchen when we came. Uh, the cooker was in here, the washer was in here. There used to be an old rack on the ceiling. It used to pull up and down with your clothes on, you know. I suppose they owned oat cakes on there, I don't know. But, yeah. Um, so is this, the, is this the last one of its kind in The last one that you go through the window with, yes, really? yeah. Bacon and cheese and Stoke City Council offered an alternative site to build a new business, but Glenn, wife Sue and son Rob say it was too expensive. So the end comes this Sunday. I thought, yeah, I need to just come and pay my last respects, really. It's like going to a funeral. It's a bit sad, but at the same time I'm celebrating. It's a bit sad. Yeah, there's not many decent oat cake shops left around here, that's why I've come all the way from Cheadle to Hanley just to get one. Okay, down here. In a town which has already lost a lot of its heritage, this Sunday will be another sad day. Thank very much. See you. See you. Bye. Mark Goffin Hanley for Central Tonight. It is a real shame.